I'm very excited to be here today with my buddy Franz and we're going to talk Fry. Fry is a leader in automation and we're going to go over a little bit of the history, some of the importance of automation for those of you out there who are just getting started and are looking for a reliable partner. And then we're going to go into the direct sell of what we have behind us, which is actually going to be tool automation and what happens and potentially the money we could lose by not automating our tools or where we could make money by automating our tools. Franz, thank you so much for being here. I'm very excited. You've been doing this quite a while. The company's been around for quite a while. Can we learn a little bit more about your history? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Uh, Frey is, uh, sta well, we start our business in 1984 in Upper Austria. It's in more or less at, at the, the, in the middle of in Austria. And we are now in the business since more or less since three, 39 years ago. So we start with automation business since 40 years and we create all of our systems by our own. So we start with normal gantry systems, create some storages to the gantry systems below. Then we started the, the, the start of 90 with the robot systems. And then we create the classic robot cell. And now we are more or less on the future with our mobile cell who creates more or less all the flexibility of the robot cells together with a movable transport system. Friends, I'm excited to talk about the mobile cells because oftentimes I have conversations and think to myself, if I could automate my entire shop with no humans, what could happen? But we'll get into that in just a minute. I immediately start thinking for the audience watching, they're probably thinking the same thing going, wow, 40 years of experience. I can only imagine the evolution that's gone into automation, what you've learned over the years. 40 years ago, I would imagine automation was Oh, it's of the future. That's a long way away. We don't need that. So what you have learned over 40 years about automation, could you kind of define that for the audience and say, here's where automation started. Here's where we are now. And this is the importance of automation, where we can make money, have efficiency, compete on a global scale, all the importance of automation. Yeah. The normal thing where you normally build in some automation system is to bring parts inside of the machine. I think this is what we do 35 years ago, and this is what our customer says that creates or creates more money for that because they can produce every time with not so much human interface. But during the time, more creates go on the market, so you have a classic six-axis robot who has more flexibility like a country system, who is able to just not to move parts inside. He is also allowed to sometimes to change trucks or bring in some tools inside of the systems or you can connect it together with the main computer in your system. That means that you have six machines in a row connected with a six -ax, uh, robot with a seven axis, load the complete seven machines, get the signals from the main computer and they say just load machine one, two, three or four and then you need more or less no human interface for that. And this is why we say this is, makes our automation more and more interesting because Everybody has the problems, you get no employees for the weekends or for the third shift and for this you must grow up your production and for this it's automation perfect. Very well said Franz and for the audience who might be, might be even though we talk about automation all the time, just let me reiterate, dull, dirty, dangerous, the three D's, automation is not taking jobs. It's very important that we understand that we're, we're, we're working with a labor shortage and trying to do more, be more efficient. Franz, can we take a, would you mind joining me on a little walk around this area here? We'll have a cameraman follow us. Let's start over here at the tools and kind of go over what we're doing in this cell because we're on the WF, uh, WFL booth right now yeah. and those parts can get massive. So this is a sample of what could be done today. And let's talk about the importance of automating tooling itself and where we can actually gain efficiency and yeah. potentially financial responsibility. Yeah. So what we create or what we start at our, at our shop is we make here just a magazine from a WFL machine, just an example for that because normal space for that is 16 to 120 uh, cutting tools inside. And what is the problem? So when you start your cutting process, you have all the cutting tools inside and over the third shift or over the night shift, you need much more than three or four cutting tools there from one specific part. So we have there materials inside for the cutting that you need all 10 minutes to change the tool. And for that, it's really hard to find an employee that change every time the system there. And this is why we think how, how we can do that. 
just for uh, change tools inside of the machine, a robot makes no sense because the investment is too high. So we have to think how we can combine it. So normally, when you what, what I uh, mentioned before is, when we just change the parts inside of the machine, this is every time the first step. When we create then for changing the parts, also changing the tools with the robot system, then we can create a complete mobile cell or a complete automation cell. And this is the important thing what we get. Because this costs a lot of money when you need some human interface. When the machine is not producing, then you cannot earn money. And this is the reason why we do that. All right, friends, we're in the middle system here, which I think is a very important bit to discuss as it's integrating the far side and the north side here. What have we created in this system that Fry has done to help our audience? So we create here now the mobile cell. It's a mobile platform, especially who can move from one side to another. And the, very, very, the most important thing about it is when you make your factory planning, normally you buy some cutting machines over the years, but they will not be at the same line or on different places. And for this, it's really this the, the, the most impressive solution because you can move everywhere in the in the plant. So you start just to make up the cart system with with the with the system, creates your points, and then you can move it just from a workpiece together to the cutting machines. You need just more or less an interface to the machine, the gripping system on the robot, just the storage wherever you want, and then you can create really, really more automation and complete your factory. I like this system very much, and, and I'll tell you why. Hopefully we're on the same page with the audience here. But you mentioned immediately, and I know you've seen this far more than I have, because this is 100% of your job, is there are so many times when we're working with harder materials so we need redundant tooling, or softer materials and say, uh, some sort of pallet chain system or system where we are automating the parts, right? So we yep. have one, two, 20 different jobs going in, so we yep. need so many more tools. You are so right, my friend. When we think about always needing more tools, but having the humans to do the mundane of switching it in and out all the time, we don't always have that, do we? Yep. And being able to automate that is far more important than I think I originally gave it yep. credit for. So thank you for helping me understand that awareness. Let's walk a little bit over here as well as we go on the booth, and we, and we start to close out this tour with maybe a final statement of who you are and what you're doing. These parts are also a bit smaller as a general rule here on the WF, uh, WFL booth, but it's also important to understand the, the part integration, the tool integration, and maybe some of the components of how this actually works, because I see grippers, I see pieces that are, are very important because you guys do the full integration. You make sure that when you visit a customer, you have all the right components, but you've been doing this for 40 years. You understand the growth and evolution, and you bring it all together in one home so that someone who implements Fry will implement a situation they know works, right? First of all, it's every time to understand what is really the customer needs, what you mentioned. And this is why we create more or less just an example for a warehouse. What could be a warehouse? A warehouse could be a part storage. It could be also the storage from, some, from the cutting tools and also storage from the gripping systems. Because what is the most important thing is create a high flexibility cell that you need no more investment after that when we just implement a new part. This is the reason why we start for automation. And this is where all discussions are starting. So what is the customer need? The customer said every time when we start with the, with the, with the, with the, um, with the interview, they will have 24 seven without interaction from human people. And we say, okay, automation normally makes that, but in special things, you need a little bit help of the human interface, because what is our intention about it? Bring the people you have in the, in the company to, to do more or less um, the, the interface together with more machines, not just with one. Give him a little bit more intensive work and he will also be happy because it's not the best way just to move heavy parts inside of the machine. That can be done by a robot. It's not the best part to move the parts out from the machine. This also can be done by the robot. You must can change tool. This can be done by the robot and also change for the gripping systems. And when you have this interaction for the automation, then you can grow up your business and then normally you get out more parts in uh, less time. Franz, as, as big of a superstar as you are and as popular as Fry is, there's probably maybe one person out there that goes, I want to learn more because I don't know more right now. Where can we find out more about you? Of all the people that you've worked with around the world and the website, social media, where can we find a little bit more for all the audience members right now who want to do a bit more research on who you are and what you guys do? 
uh, so social media is created together with company WFL. So when we search us on LinkedIn or uh, kind of Facebook on Instagram, when you take a look at the VFL, we have also our platform there. So when you search for Fry, also for the internet site, www.frei.at. So you can search all of our uh, communication and interface system, or you can write us direct at office at fry.at. My friend, you have nailed it just like you always do. I appreciate your time for everyone watching. This is automation. This is my buddy Franz. This is Fry. Automate your entire factory where and when you can. The investment is worth your time. Thank you all for watching. We appreciate you.